Hello everyone, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I wanted to do a quick video to let you know that there is a update to the Tomato OS, as well as a small update to the stock firmware, which will fix a missing library issue with MAME. And it will also add ports here to the UI setting. Now, Portmaster is not ready to use that yet. It'll require some development. So in that meantime, Portmaster will still work as it does currently, which means you will find your port listings here under the game section. And once it's ready, everything will be listed here, which means it can get its own icon, it can get its own background, it can get its own box art. So that's a really cool addition to have, in my opinion. Plus, it's way easier to organize things, you know, keep your actual games, your ports, your apps all separate into their own listing. I prefer that personally. take a moment to boot here also I didn't change the configuration files so it's probably in Chinese but uh, should work either way Might be a little loud. You get the idea. I'm not trying to make this a 20 minute video here. I'll do one more port and we'll move on. Overall, I'm very impressed with Trim UI and how responsive they are with keeping the firmware updated and fixing things and also communicating with the developers and adding things that we would like them to add that are going to help us with our stuff as well. It's pretty rare that a manufacturer or a company works so closely and willingly with the developers, so I wanted to make sure that I gave them a shout out for that. As you can see, Stardew Valley works, Ninja Turtles works. Over to the apps area. I will do a video on Moonlight. I keep saying I will, but the development on this is moving forward pretty quickly, so I keep having new stuff to show you guys. So, for the purposes of this video here, I'm pretty sure I already have it on Vulcan, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, okay. Now, the reason for that, the core... Just load the content first, actually. The core for Swan Station, which is a PlayStation emulator, has been recompiled specifically to be able to use Vulkan. Scrolling way too fast there. Uh, let's go with Tekken. So, you see, when I go Swan Station here, it doesn't work with OpenGL. You have to use Vulkan to use Swan Station. Just a heads up. The Yabasan Shiro core and all of the Game Boy cores have also been rebuilt. Camera really hates to focus. There we go. I'm not going to play the game because I don't want to take forever, but you can hear it works fine. There's no audio crackle, no. If you guys want more in-depth gaming videos, let me know. Usually I do videos that more kind of just show you that things work and show you works in progress. But this camera's focus is getting on my nerves slowly. Of course, as soon as I say that.
trying to get it to adjust to the text, but it's very stubborn. Every time the text moves, it gets blurry. I'm not sure why. It is a 4K camera. It's just a very stubborn 4K camera, apparently. So as you can see here, well, kind of. Saturn also works with Vulcan. And quite well, I might add. One of my favorite games. This is Liquid Kids. As you can see, working great. Check out PSP now, and then that'll be that for this video. Whoops. So, there's new launcher options here. This uses the latest 117 version. And this is 154. So you can kind of have two different ways to launch it and two performance modes. Performance mode will set the governor to performance and the CPU speed to 1.4. This will be running at 1.2 with an on-demand governor. I recommend using performance mode. If for some reason you have trouble with a game or homebrew, you can always try running it with this. That's kind of the purpose. I usually use God of War as a benchmark, but we already know that it needs the 30 FPS patch and stuff like that. So somebody in a previous video asked me to try NHL 2007, so let's just do that. Wrong button. Hurry up. Taking forever. It's probably going to play random music, get the video demonetized, and force me to mute it. Yep. When you hear an audio gap, that's why. That song is in a hockey game, but that's not exactly a. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it, let's say that. the controls are as I mean I'm sure you just saw but uh, that game works fine I'm actually just on OpenGL right now we should try that on Vulcan and see what the difference is just real quick okay so now we're on Vulcan settings at 2x PSP no frame skip the exact same as before only now we're on Vulcan kind of wish I had saved the state Hey, 
sports. It's in the game. I have to forgive the apparently long loading time of this video game. In case it got cut out earlier, when you hear audio pauses in the video, it's because it played music that got a copyright. that that happened twice. I'm just curious how far we can push it. Obviously the screen's not, well, I mean, the screen's not 1080, so there's no point in trying to push it past 3X, to be honest. But definitely working a lot better. Things are going in a great direction. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up there. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.